Hey my friends, welcome back to Falcon RC and we are going to keep working on the MiG-21 and uh, the last part we, we ran the motor pretty much and checked the watts and everything and I'm very satisfied with the thrust and air on it and, and actually I already went ahead and built the nose con uh, where normally you have all the radar equipment on the on the jet and I did it out of foam too, I'm, I'm actually probably going to fiberglass it you know but anyway, as you can see it's just a, sh a bullet shape and it has the same shape that you see on the front, it's the same shape that is on the back but pretty much on, on the inside in there uh, oh actually, let me put it on the line put the light right there, I don't know how much that <laughs> pretty much just a, a, like a bullet shape on both sides and put the, cut the legs for it and t I took the ring off of it this wood ring I took it off and to push it in there, you know, cut the slats out and then put the ring back on it and as you can see, we are pretty close to the shape, the original shape I didn't want to do it too too sharp because I didn't want it to, to flood it out on me on a hard landing or something, you know, I didn't want to break it too, too easy, so I made it a little bit more round instead of just a sharp point but anyway, uh, now we're going to be working on the full flying tails which is pretty much all this airplane is going to be flying on elevons I'm not going to be pulling all other on control on the wing itself because I mean, look at the elevator guys, I mean they are so big uh, it'd be plenty just flying on elevons on a delta wing and uh, this is not an aerobatic plane I mean if we look at the shape on it this, it looks just like a missile pretty much a missile wings it's built for speed pretty much so that's what we're going to try to attempt on it and um, for my full flying tail I have this set up right here you know this is pretty much the part that goes over here the end of it so I cut that off this is the point where I'm going to be hang, hanging the full flying tails and I made this ring to match that then again you know and on this ring, as you can see, I attached two uh, like L-shaped brackets. I went to Lowe's and I found me these little guys right here. And I, I like them, so they are pretty strong and sturdy. So I'm going to be using them over here. I overlap one on the top of each other with, you know, holding down with a knot right there in place. And on this point, pretty much, the elevator, you know, just goes in here, if I can get it to the hole, there you go it's right in here and of course I'm gonna make sure that I secure that down good and then, you know, this juice because rather than I still have a clean intake and a full flying tail so okay my friends, I'm gonna figure out how to you know, to get all this on place and go ahead and set it on place and then I need to figure out where I want to put my servos at so let me install this and we, we keep working on the rest Okay guys, so I got everything back together uh, As you can see right here Put everything together and As you notice, it actually decided to go ahead and put the servos right on the same part too I think it, it's gonna make it a little bit more simpler to install everything And it's actually strong <laughs> I was I put one of the servos a little bit off And I was trying to get it off there, you know, to, to replace it I couldn't get it off with that thing, I used super glue on it I actually used this this epoxy right here it, it just, I mean this super glue and it just hold it way too strong in there which is actually good you know so anyway uh, let me go ahead and operate them right here for you on the, on the, on the table and then we put them on the airplane <laughs> okay uh, see that there? Okay. Okay. that's way too much a lot more than what I'm gonna be using so, but anyway guys, uh, let, let me go ahead and install him on the plane and then you can see what it looks like already on the plane okay. okay my friends, so I already installed it pretty much where it's supposed to be on plate and it's a little dark in there and as you notice I, I have to change cameras because the battery on that one is dead so I have to use this one this, the, you know, the, the resolution on this one isn't that great so I don't know if I can show you this in here it's pretty much we got a clean intake all you got right there is the arm from from the servo pretty much and that's it so that is clean and I also went ahead and you know I was trying to find this other camera so I went ahead and cut my vertical stabilizer which is gonna go here and there is no not going to be a rudder control on it like I say I just wanted for to fly around pretty much and so it's not gonna be an aerobatic aircraft also went ahead and cut my cockpit which I can actually say I, I love to have 
the two inch foam because this is pretty much one piece the cup it is one piece of a two you know this big old two inch foam so i didn't have to glue you no know, a bunch of pieces together you know and for the carpet sun where the battery is going to be at on my on my radio gear uh, you know from the edge of this bulkhead you see i mark a line right here same thing on both sides and put my knife straight across and cut it you know on both sides so i cut this out right here and on this one pretty much i'm gonna cut this off a little bit i'm gonna reset a piece of plywood in here you know i'm gonna cut some holes on you know, to make it light and set my electronics in here and as you can see there is really not much room there here for the battery so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna mold this thing i'm gonna this whole piece is gonna be plastic i actually built a vacuum mold box a while ago and this is actually gonna be the very first time for for me using it got this one right here so i'm gonna set this on it and mold it so it'll be all hollow out so i can have enough room for the battery right there and we went to to get some toys for the pool and some of them came on this plastic box i actually have two of these and this box this plastic guys is actually the one that they use for vacuum molding so i'm gonna use this plastic i'm gonna i'm gonna unfold it and this is gonna be the plastic for for the carpet and all the, those parts so okay my friends uh, this is as, as far as we're gonna get to on this video uh, on the next video we're gonna you know do the cockpit and maybe we get to do the vacuum mold too i'm not sure so alrighty guys thank you for watching subscribe see you next fly